So let's talk about how infinity can show up when we're evaluating limits. So here we have a graph of the function 1 over x, and we're going to evaluate our left-sided, right-sided, and two-sided limits looking at x equals 0. So evaluating our left-sided limit, so we're looking at what's happening as we're getting closer and closer, and what we're actually approaching here is our vertical asymptote that's occurring at x equals 0. And what we're going to see is that even our function is also approaching zero. We're never going to be crossing zero. So what I want to do is just think about, okay, what if I'm following my function along? And as I'm walking along my function, as x is getting closer and closer to zero from the left, we're going off in the downward direction. And it's going to keep going. And if we made a table of values, as we made those values closer and closer to zero, they're going to get smaller and smaller. And what will happen is that they'll get infinitely small. So what's happening here is we're just getting the smallest possible values. And with that, because we're going off in the downward direction, we would say the limit as x approaches 0 from the left is going to be negative infinity. Because we're going in that downward direction, that would be approaching the negative side, and it's infinitely small. Approaching from the right-hand side, we're going to see a similar result where if I'm walking along the function, we're going up and up and up forever. And if we made a table of values, as we chose small values close to zero, but just like a little bit larger, our y values would be infinitely large. So with that, our limit as x approaches zero from the right is going to be positive infinity. And evaluating the two-sided limit, all I need to do is see that, well, we have negative infinity, we have positive infinity, so because they're going in two totally different directions, we would have does not exist for our limit there. If they matched up in the same direction, so like let's say we were dealing with 1 over x squared, so our function that looks like this. And I wanted to take the two-sided limit. So from the left, we would be going to positive infinity. From the right, we would also be going to positive infinity. So if I wanted to evaluate the two-sided limit as x approaches 0 of 1 over x squared, because they match up, it would also be positive infinity. So it follows the same rules as in the previous video when we had numerical outputs. If we have infinity as an output, it's the same idea that they have to match up for it to have the two-sided limit. If they don't match up, then that two-sided limit does not exist.